Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And this morning, we have something really special. The first graders are going to perform Dan Brown's Wild Symphony. Now, you remember that Dan Brown wrote The Da Vinci Code. You adults will remember that. But he's also a musician. He loves music. He loves animals. And he's created this very special play that features music and animals. And to tell us more about that, before we see the first graders really impress us with their performance, is Mr. Locke to tell us a little bit about how all of this was conceived. Enjoy. Oh, hello there. I'm Mr. Locke. As Westminster's music teacher, I wanted to introduce you to the first grade play, Wild Symphony. Wild Symphony is special because it's both a book and a piece of music. It tells the story of a group of animals coming together to make an orchestra. Each animal is accompanied by a song expressing its personality, a song played by a real orchestra. You will hear each of these songs today as the animals are introduced. We hope you enjoy the sights and sounds of the first grade play. Bigger, louder, smarter, too. The rat should run away, not you. 
Kanga Kanga Kangaroo. Teach me how to bounce like you. Bouncing high, bouncing low, bouncing everywhere you go. Bounce strong, kaboing, kaboing, bounce for fun. Kaboing, kaboing. Bounce and eat, katoo, katoo. Bounce and sleep, kasnoo, kasnoo. Wake up! When, when you shake your kanga tail and bounce along a kanga trail, I wish, I wish I bounce like you. I want to be a kanga tip. The hippo loves a muddy pond with clumps of weeds to nibble on. I'm happy just to float and much. I've got my home, I've got my lunch. I don't wish to have the sky. Life's too short to moan and cry. I just want to splash and sing. Life is such a simple thing. Here's the moral we know is right. Remember to enjoy the small things in life. Truckers, peepers, and happy frogs sing, sing together in the box. Small ones, big ones, and fat ones too. Green ones, and brown ones, and even blue. No one bright, no one wrong. Everyone just sings along. Rib it, rib it, rib it. And the moral is differences are best when, when we use it. If we work together, we can make wonderful music. Whoever! I'm glad you all appreciate bouncing, bathing, and the food you ate. Your differences are unique, it's true, but your practice time is overdue. You all must stop, get on your way. Our concert's coming up. Can't 
can't be seen. <laughs> Love to gallop, never try. Hate to stay in just one spot. Running circles, lives to race. Got to set a faster pace. Looking forward, never down. Missing culverts on the ground. <laughs> As tomorrow comes your way, don't forget to live today. And, and the moral is, soon enough tomorrow comes slow down today and have some fun. So down, yes I do agree, but first to practice both of these. Busy beetles digging with their little beetles, working slowly as a turtle building homes and garden. Dirt. But the beetles, bit by bit, keep on going, never quitting. When at last the rick is done. Then it's time to have some fun. And the moral. There's time for both each day. Busy meals, it is true that one should walk and simply to take a little break, but then join us to host again. begins to set, I find the quietest friend yet. I'm paddling softly on my own. You think I'm sad because I'm alone. But do you see? I've got a smile. I want to be alone a while. My moral is simple but true. Time alone can be special too. Dear son, I do hate to intrude upon your happy solitude. But won't you say your song tonight? Please join us now. Go on, take flight. Just a flying mouse. 
She has no sight but has no fear because she knows how well she hears. She doesn't really need to see. She's learned to listen carefully. Being a good listener really does pay. Our moral will help you find your way. Listening is yes, important. Yes, so use your ears and try your best. It's been hard finding my friends. Will it be worth it in the end? But when I follow the bad's advice, my listening ears hear something nice. There are times when we just look, like when we read a picture book. But if we use our ears to spy, there's more in life than meets the eye. At night, a field looks dark and bare. Our eyes are certain. Nothing's there, but ears hear things that eyes can't pass. Our ears hear crickets in the grass. Now and then, close your eyes and listen all around you. You might see something new to astound you. The cricket did the final start. He put in his orchestra heart. Thank you for the mind of one. Musicians like us need to try. It's finally done. We're finally here to make the music we hold dear. Long have we searched, far have we longed to bring all the strong members home. Along the way, animals gave us wisdom on how to behave. Each animal has much to bring to the song that we last sing.
we would like to thank Mr. Locke for filling our hearts with song. We would like to thank the Maitre stuff for their help in the feeder. We would like to thank my mother, Mrs. Pompadours, for the animal costumes. We would like to thank my mother, Mrs. Beach, for helping with the Maestro Mouse costumes. We would like to thank my mother, Mrs. Amar, for the programs and props. We would like to thank my mother, Mrs. Eha, for the refreshments. We would like to thank Mr. Cook for filming our play. We would like to thank our teachers for their creativity and love. We would like to thank you for enjoying our show. We would like to invite Mr. Lover to the Animal Kingdom. And may I say that Mr. Glover gladly accepts. Yay! Now, this is not normally what we do, but we're going to do it today because we look out at our theater. We don't have hundreds of people here today, but we have very enthusiastic people here. So everyone who is here, including you, we are going to, on the count of three, we're all going to clap, we're all going to cheer for the great play that you have performed for us today. So on the, are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three, Yay! 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 All right. Now, I've got a couple of things to ask you. First of all, if your animal, now you've got to think about this, you've got to get in touch with your inner whatever animal you are playing, portraying, I want you to think for just a couple of seconds about what noise, what kind of sound that 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 animal makes. How does that animal communicate with members of its own species? Are you ready? Think about it. On, on the count of three, we're going to hear what this whole menagerie sounds like. Are you ready? One, two. Three. I think it seems like we have more we have more mice sounds than in the other sound. Alright, that's it. That's the end of the sound. Now, next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to step out here so I can see you. I want you to show me your best dance moves because you were moving and grooving pretty well this morning. So are you ready for that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you have to do it. You have to sort of just hear the music because you won't actually have any. Are you ready? One. And you too, Miss Palmer. Come on, give us your best groove. Uh, oh, I think you ought to come on up. Come on, Miss Palmer. Are you ready? One. Two, three. That was that was great. All right, now next thing I want you to do is you just take direction so well. I want everyone to just sit like you were before. And before I talk about you, and I'm going to talk about you. I have to say, Miss Palmer, Mrs. Elbert, <laughs> Mrs. Elbert, and Miss North, my heart was just so full of love and admiration for this great big class of first graders that we have this year, for how well you listen to instructions, you know, how, how disciplined you were about everything, how poised, how confident, how delightful, and that is a great tribute to the people who receive you into their classrooms every day with so much love, with so much care, 
with so much hard work and so much dedication. So that's every day. But for this play, for all the creativity, for the inspiration of it, for the execution of it, for the creation of it, ladies and gentlemen, you couldn't have three more wonderful teachers than Miss Palmer, Miss North, and Mrs. Elder. Let's hear it for your teachers. Now, I understand that this was Miss Palmer's idea, and then who wrote the play? Mrs. Elder did. You all? Teamwork. Oh, it was teamwork. It was all well, Great idea, great collaboration on the writing of the play, and great production. So congratulations again to your directors and your teachers. We love them. That was great. Now for you. You are impressive. I, I can't remember when I saw a group of people as young as you, six and seven years old, who can act, can sing, can dance, can inhabit the character that you're playing, be an animal, which of course you're not as human beings, and do it with such, as they say, a plum, with such, with such joy, with such fun, with such creativity. I think you are very special. I think your play is great. I love you singing. I love you dancing. You're charming. You darling, you did a fantastic job. Ladies and gentlemen, let's raise it up to the rafters and hear it for the first grade. Yay! Let the people be